Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am Hit Kumar Balodia, recently pursuing ICT branch at Marwadi University. In this video, I will tell about circuit of monostable multivibrator and its working. Now, let us begin. First, we will draw circuit in multisync. So, now we will take transistor BC547BG, two transistor we have to take. Now, one power source, DC power source, grounds, resistance, resistors, four resistors we have to take, sorry, six. Capacitors One diode So we have taken all Now we will connect our circuit We have Flip horizontal since this both are ground, so I will connect first this both ground, this both, and one ground will attached here. Now, this resistance I have to connect here with one. Capacitor, another here with this capacitor. This capacitor is connected to base of other transistor. Now, this transistor base is connected to this resistance. Now, this resistor is connected to collector of one transistor this all we have connected with power supply sorry This is connected with here. Now this power supply we have to connect here. Another terminal is with ground. Now this resistance to connect parallel with power supply which is connected with the capacitor. We have to rotate this diode This diode is and This diode is connected to base of one transistor Now this resistance is connected with this cap capacitor and Capacitor is with diode and it, this is connected with here and ground is connected since we have to take uh, for triggering action we have to take one switch so one SPST switch single pole single throw switch here it is Now we have to connect this switch here 
another end with in ground yeah name will be there since we have now this is connected with here now since we have complete our connection so now we will define values it is 10 kilo ohm it should be 120k it should be 10k it also should be 10k this is also 10k this is 10 microfarad this 4.7 microfarad now since this should be 12k now since we have to check output so we will put oscilloscope a channel is connected here b channel is connected here other are connected with ground this is also connected with ground now we will change the segment color to identify differently it is red ok so we, so we have done our connections now we will check our output so if we start our simulation you can see in the oscilloscope this red channel B channel is connected here which is at high mode and another is at low mode in working we will see that why this is high and this is low now if we trigger once by changing this positions so you can see that low is going to high and high is going to low now this is unstable state so after some time it should go to it's stable state so you can see that it is in unstable state now after some time it goes to its stable state its uh, timing very high that's why it is so you can see that it goes to its stable state again here it's red was first uh, in stable state high and blue was low so it is so it's the uh, our mono stable multi vibrator now we can go to see its working working of mono stable multi vibrator now initially the system shown the system will be in stable state where in the transistor q1 will be cut off region so its collector potential will be high so our red channel was high as a result the collector q2 will be shorted to ground this collector will be short to ground which is output will be low so we our blue channel was at low position Further at this state the right place of the capacitor C will be 0.7 volt as it connected to the base of Q2 since this voltage will be 0.7 so it is connected to this so it's 0.7 volt while the charge on its left plate this plate will be increasing gradually towards VCC as it is connected to VCC it will gradually increase its charge now on applying the trigger input this on applying our switch input to collector terminal of Q1 sorry to the base of Q1 it will turn on causing the flow of current through our C1 this as a result the collector terminal of Q1 as well as left plate capital will shorted to ground so it will go to off state hence we have get on triggering input we get our blue channel as low 
sorry hi hi and our red channel low this causes the capacitor to discharge while turning off q2 so it will turn off q2 its voltage will be very high so our blue blue channel was first low then it will be high the entire period of discharging cycle this off state of q2 is nothing but a stable or quasi stable state means that when we trigger it goes to its unstable state so output goes high However, during this time Q1 remain in its own state as its cell base connected to high voltage the collector Q2. Next, the cycle repeats by turning on Q2 and by switching off Q1 once the capacitor fully discharges. In this kind of circuit, the duration for which the output remains high before the circuit reverts back to its stable state decided by the RC time constant, which is the mathematical expression. This T is given by 0.693 R1 dot C. Further, it is noted that this recent time interval, which successfully triggered process, should be maintained greater when compared to that of RC time constant. Because if not so, the output would be still high when the next trigger pulse is applied. Since when our uh, this is not perfect calculation, so if I trigger once I triggered and if I triggered again, it will be not work because our RC time constant should be less than this successive trigger pulses, which is not there. Hence. It is not unsatisfactory results we have obtained, but it works. So this is the working of monostable multi vibrator.